Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love that. Hello everyone, it's Jillian and for today's video I thought it would be so much fun if I picked up a bunch of makeup from the new Fenty Beauty makeup line and that is a makeup line that was brought up by Rihanna and yeah, I'm so excited to try it out. I've heard so many different wonderful things about this beauty line, so I can't wait to see what it's like. When this beauty line first launched, I wasn't planning on buying anything, but after seeing so, so, so many reviews all over YouTube and on Instagram, I just knew I had to pick up some of the products, especially the highlighters. Oh my gosh, that's probably the thing that I am most excited to try. So here's all the Fenty makeup that I picked up. I picked up quite a bit, so I'm excited to see what all the products are like and if this is my first video that you're seeing then hi my name is Jillian and I am so so excited that you found my channel and if you'd like to see more videos from me in the future and you haven't already subscribed then just go ahead and click the subscribe button and then whenever I upload a new video you're gonna be able to see it so I think it's time that I jump into the video I am so excited to film this I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started so Fenty Beauty is a makeup line that was brought out by Rihanna super recently and Rihanna is like the queen of music she has the most amazing voice and I'm super excited to see what her makeup is like. I feel like you guys are too far away. I'm just gonna zoom you in. <laughs> so looking at the first launch, it was all complexion based. So she came out with a lot of products to give you that perfect flawless base like foundation and primer and concealers. She didn't bring out any eye makeup or she did bring out I think a lip gloss which I have got here but it was mainly complexion based which I love because my favorite part of makeup is the base and the contour and the highlight and all that so I'm super excited for this line and I'm also super excited to see what she's gonna bring out in the future I'm hoping she has an amazing eyeshadow palette and maybe some amazing lipsticks or liquid lipsticks or just like things like that I'm super excited to see where this line is going to go so starting off I'm gonna be taking the primer and this is the pro filter in retouch primer and I love a good primer I never never ever forget to prime it's like such an important thing to me and to make my makeup last it's just like a must so I'm hoping that this is smoothing and mattifying I love a good pore filling primer that just like makes my life so much easier I cannot wait to start playing around these products oh my gosh I've been waiting for this for so long <laughs> so here is the primer and it's just in a glass bottle and it feels like super heavy and luxurious like it doesn't feel cheap or anything like that so I'm just gonna pump a little bit onto my hand it's quite a thick primer it's not like the texture I thought it would be I thought it would be more balmy but it's quite lotiony like a face moisturizer so I'm just gonna apply this like I normally would a primer which is mainly focusing on the center of my face which is my problem areas where I have large pores and where I get oily the most so now the primer has absorbed and dried down and it feels really nice on the skin it just makes my skin feel really hydrated and just like it's ready for a good foundation oh I actually really like that and actually does smell quite nice I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> so looking at my skin now, I don't think it has really filled in my pores or smoothed over my pores, but my skin just looks a little bit nicer. It looks a little bit more radiant and just a little bit more, I don't know, even in like texture and tone. I don't know. I really like that. It's definitely not like a silicon based primer would be, like where it would just like the oil, but it's still quite nice and I really like it. Oh, that feels so nice. So next we have the much talked about foundation and this is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And when Rihanna launched this foundation, she launched it in 40 different shades. That is just so incredible. Like for her to just come onto the beauty scene and just like launch 40 shades straight up, I think is so amazing. She's catering to so, so many different skin tones, which I love. And if you've ever had like trouble trying to pick your foundation tone, I would definitely check out Fenty Beauty because there's so many different shades and you should hopefully be able to find your shade there. And then to apply the foundation, I picked up the Precision Makeup Sponge, which I'm super excited to try out. I've only ever tried 
the Beauty Blender, the official like Beauty Blender sponge. It's the only one I've ever used, so I'm excited to try a different kind of beauty sponge. It's a really interesting shape. Here it's just got this really flat edge and then a flat top and then the other side is domed just like the Beauty Blender. So I think this is going to be perfect for like baking and getting in around the nose and the eye area. So yeah, I'm excited to see what this is like. <laughs> so on the box it says use damp for buildable coverage or dry for full coverage. Now I really like full coverage so it says that I should use it dry but whenever I use a Beauty Blender it's always damp so this just feels weird to use a dry sponge. I don't know, I think I'm going to use it wet anyway and then maybe build up the coverage. So we're just dunking this in the water and getting it nice and wet and I'm trying not to drop it. Oh, it's loading. So here is the makeup sponge now and it has expanded because it is now a damp and it is ready to use on my face. <laughs> so in the foundation I picked up the shade 190 and I bought my foundation online so I didn't actually go into a store to get color matched so I was totally winging it online and I just hope for the best there were so many shades that looked like they could have been my shade and I just I don't know, I'm hoping this is my shade. Fingers, fingers crossed. Okay, so it says to shake the foundation well, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pump some of the foundation onto the back of my hand, and that looks like it's gonna be an okay color, which is exciting, and as you can see, it's quite runny. It's starting to run down the back of my hand, but it's not like super watery. It's like a little bit, but not a lot. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take some of the foundation, and I'm just gonna use the sponge to start applying it to my skin. Oh, this is like a super soft sponge. I like that. Okay, so it's spreading really nicely. So far, I love the sponge. It feels really good on the skin. All right, just a little quick note. I pumped some onto the back of my hand and it's like already dried down. You gotta work first. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love that. That is beautiful. It looks like my skin. Like it doesn't look like I put foundation on. But I have and it's like covered like all my discoloration. But it doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation. It just looks like my skin. Oh my gosh, this is like magic. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed already. This is incredible. Okay, I'm just gonna try and build up the coverage a bit and see what happens. Okay, so that's all blended in now and I think, like to me, it looks really good. Like I really like that. Hang on, I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see up close what my skin looks like. So this is what my skin looks like up close. I like it. I like it a lot. I think this might be my new favorite foundation. It's so pretty. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I am really impressed with this foundation and I very, very quickly became obsessed with it. It is so amazing and I can't wait to play around with it more and maybe play around with it with different primers. But with the Fenty primer, I feel like it works really well. Like the Fenty primer just really grabbed onto the foundation and gave the foundation something to stick to. So yeah, it's like dried down really fast too, which I like. So moving on to concealer and I picked up a Match Sticks Trio and this one is in the shade Light 100. So it comes with like a concealing shade, a contour shade, and then a highlighting shade. So the shade in here that I guess is meant for concealing, I feel like was going to be too dark for me because it's not the lightest skin shade they have. And when I conceal, I always just go for the lightest color that a brand has. So I went ahead and picked up an extra matte sticks, match sticks, <laughs> and this is a matte skin stick and this is in the shade porcelain so this is what I'm going to be using today to conceal so this is what the packaging of the skin stick looks like and it's just a twist up skin stick which I like and it's also retractable so you can twist it back down so I'm going to take my skin stick in the shade porcelain and I'm going to apply it to where I would normally conceal and then I'm going to be using the beauty sponge again to blend it out so let's see how this goes
dry. Okay, so that's a bit of a different concealer. I'm so used to the Tarte Shape Tape because like that is all I ever use. That trying anything else, I'm always just like, ooh, I don't know how I feel about it. But it blended in nicely. I feel like you need a damp sponge to really get it to blend in with the foundation. I like that it hasn't like clung to any dryness under my eyes. It doesn't like look super dry and caked under there, which I like. It feels like a really light concealer. I feel like I'd be happy to wear this concealer on its own, like not with a full face of makeup, which I like because sometimes the Tarte Shape Tape can be quite heavy and it's quite hard to make it look natural sometimes. So yeah, I'm definitely going to play around with it more. That's a bit different. I quite like that. Next, I'm going to contour. So I'm just going to be taking the shade Amber from my Match Sticks Trio. And this is quite a cool toned brown. So I think it's going to be perfect for contouring. And I hope it blends out super easily because I'm not the best at cream contouring. I'm much more of a powder contour kind of person. So hopefully this blends out quite easily. I think I'm going to again use a sponge to blend this out. Whenever I try to blend out cream contour with a brush, I feel like it always moves around my foundation underneath. So I need to work on that. But today I'm going to be again using the sponge. So it's like a multi-purpose. I've like used this for everything so far. <laughs> Oh, I love that. That is such a perfect color for contouring. Oh my gosh. That looks so natural. And that blended out so, so easily. Like seriously, easiest thing ever to blend out. I think I'm gonna apply a bit more. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this contour stick. It has just given me the most natural looking contour. Like all my other contour sticks, I just feel like are too brown, whereas this one is more gray and cool toned. Cool toned. <laughs> so it gives it much more of a natural shadow look. Ooh, I like that. Can you see that? Compared to that side? That side? That side? That side? That side. I love this contour stick so much and again this is in the shade amber and it is definitely going into my like daily makeup routine oh my gosh it's changed my life changed my life <laughs> so I'm now gonna go in with my last cream product before I set my face and this is again from the match sticks trio but this is the highlighting shade and this is in the color starstruck and this looks like a beautiful beautiful highlighting shade I guess you'd say it's a pink champagne toned <laughs> highlighter I don't know it's quite beautiful though and I think it's gonna be quite a subtle yet stunning highlight I'm excited to see what it looks like and then I'm just going to take the end of that sponge just to blend it out a little bit. That is such a stunning highlight shade. It's so like subtle yet beautiful. Like you can still see it, but it's not like wham in your face highlight, which I do like sometimes, but this is quite a nice change. <laughs> so I'm just going to apply some powder to the center of my face just like I always would so I don't start to get shiny and oil doesn't start to break through the foundation. So I picked up the Fenty Beauty Invisi Matte Blotting Powder. So I'm going to give it this a go. Beautiful, sleek, simple packaging. Just looks like your normal, typical blotting powder. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a brush. So the brush I'm going to use to apply this is just a little tapered brush and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the powder. So I do like this blotting powder, it's really finely milled and it's just made my skin look a little bit more smoother and it's taken away that shine which I like and you also can't tell that I just put powder on because I hate when you get that powdered look and it hasn't gone cakey or anything, it's just a really nice lightweight powder and it's actually made my skin feel really soft and smooth. So I just went ahead and filled in my eyebrows and popped on some mascara. Now I didn't pick up anything that I could use as a blush from the Fenty Beauty line. So I'm just going to be picking up my Too Faced Papa Don Peach blush and it's just a really pretty natural colored blush. I'm just going to pop a bit of this onto my cheeks just to give my face a little bit of color. 
I picked up two powdered blushes and one is the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo in the shade Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. So this again is in that beautiful, sleek and simple packaging. And this one is a duo, so there are two different shades of highlighter in here. So Lightning Dust is a very smooth and subtle highlight. I love how just simple it is. And yeah, that one's really pretty. So now I'm gonna go ahead and swatch Fire Crystal, which looks a lot more shimmery. So looking at Fire Crystal, it is less subtle than Lightning Dust, but it is still beautiful, and I think it'll give you that beautiful glowing highlight whilst still like looking very popping. So I think I'm really gonna like Fire Crystal, but it'll be just drop something but it'll be interesting to see what they look like on my skin tone and then the other highlight I picked up is the kilowatt freestyle highlighter and this is in the shade metal moon this probably just looks like a very bright white shade but I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch it and see what it looks like so when swatched this has a gold kind of sheen to it and I think I don't know what highlighter I should use today. I might use Metal Moon because I really want to see what this looks like on my skin and yeah, I'm just, I'm thinking this is what I'm going to go with today but I can't wait to try all of them. I love a good highlight. It's probably one of my favourite makeup products is highlight. <laughs> so I'm just going to take Metal Moon on a brush and apply it to my cheekbones. See, I, I love... Let's see, this is an interesting one. I love it like side on when the light's hitting it and it's reflecting and it's just looking beautiful. But then when I look like straight on into the mirror, it looks like I've just got this strip of like a slightly gray powder there. Like it's looking gray from the front, which I don't, I don't love that, but from the side it looks beautiful. So I don't know if it just doesn't suit my skin tone or that's interesting. Yeah, it just looks like I've just got like this whitish grayish just like powder here. Hmm. I'm actually going to go in with a fire crystal from the duo and pop that on top. And then on a smaller brush, I'm just going to take again a fire crystal and take this along my brow bone and my inner corner and then maybe just a little bit above my top lip to highlight that and accentuate it. <laughs> and then to finish off this look, I've got the Gloss Bomb Universal Lip Luminizer and this is in the shade Fenty Glow and I'm excited to see what this looks like on my lips. <laughs> now I've heard that this smells really good, so... Oh, that smells so sweet. It smells like candy. I love that. That feels really nice on the lips. It's not sticky at all. It feels like really hydrating. It's like really comfortable to wear too. And it's such like a pretty color. I feel like you could wear this with like any makeup look and it would look nice. And I feel like this is the kind of lip product that would just like live in my purse so I could always have it with me if ever I forgot to put on like a lip product or I just need a little bit of something on my lips. I love this. It feels really nice. Like not sticky at all. It doesn't taste that bad either. <laughs> So that is everything that I picked up from the FNT Beauty line by Rihanna and I had so much fun trying out all these new products. The standout products for me that I used today were the primer, the foundation which was absolutely amazing, the skin stick in the shade amber and then the lip what is this, a lip gloss? I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, you can let me know by giving it a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to click the subscribe button for more videos from me. Thank you so much for watching. I love you to the moon and back. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.